Well, hello there. Uh, another week or a week and a few days has gone by. I'm going to try to get this uh, round top toy box lid kind of squared off this week so that you can get started building one for yourself. Um, let's kind of go back and review a little bit. Um, it, you know, first of all, we need to select some nice three-quarter inch wood. Uh, this particular piece of wood happens to be uh, alder, western alder, I guess you'd call it. Another choice that is a nice close grain wood uh, would be western maple. Uh, I'd kind of shy away from pine because there's so many knots in it and it's pretty difficult to find clear straight grain wood that will uh, paint nicely or stain nicely, whichever the case may be. So first of all we need to set up our saw so that we're getting uh, a four and a half degree angle on each side of, of our piece of, of uh, wood that we're going to use for the curvature of the top of the, of the trunk. And fortunately I have in my possession it's called gauge it and this will give me a pretty precise uh, saw angle. There is another way if you don't have one of these angle gauges uh, you can take a piece of cardboard and a protractor and you can determine the angle that's, uh, of the saw blade by drawing a line uh, vertically on a piece of cardboard that is 90 degrees. Uh, then what I would do is have that that line close to say the left hand side of your piece of cardboard and then take your protractor and set it on there uh, parallel with the bottom of the of the cardboard and mark off four and a half degrees to the left it doesn't matter which direction but to the left works best and then draw a line a vertical line from that point down to where it intersects with the 90 degree at the bottom. Then you cut off the portion of the of the cardboard that is on the outside of this angle that you just drew. Then you can lay that up against the bottom on the, on the table of the saw and the other side against the blade and you've got a four and a half degree angle uh, to set your blade to. Now I've already went ahead and set my angle to four and a half degrees here. I hope you can see this. And uh, so now I'm just going to set it up against my saw blade and I've already adjusted my saw so that it is uh, four and a half degrees. Uh, Usually it's best to have the saw blade um, pretty much all the way to the, as high as it will go. That way uh, everything will be easy to line up on the flat side of the blade. This photo shows cardboard and protractor method where I've drawn a four and a half degree angle on the left side of 90. That can be used if you don't have a, a regular gauge. Okay, see my mark on there? The long mark is where I want to cut. So, remember the little trick that I showed you with the stick? What we want to do is lay that stick against the, the saw, like so. And then we want to line things up here so that the line is just showing on the waist side of what we're cutting. So what we'll do is we'll saw this off and then we'll set this first piece aside to begin with and then we'll run it, we'll flip the board over and we'll run it through a second time. That'll give us uh, a bevel 
that will face out from each other when we're finished. Okay, I'm trying to hold this so you can see what we've done. We've got the, the, the widest portion is across the bottom and then it narrows uh, four and a half degrees on each side toward the top and uh, so then hopefully this is the right angle if we did all of our calculations correctly why uh, we should be able to fit all these pieces together we'll dry fit them first and then we'll see how it looks hopefully everything is as it's supposed to be okay remember we set those uh, the first cut aside uh, but the reason we did that is because there's a uh, square side on one side and a beveled side on the other. So what we need to do is move our fence toward the blade about uh, oh, less than a playing card thickness. Uh, and that will make sure that we're shaving off the correct amount on the side. The w width of these aren't in exact science as far as being exactly one and a half so by just whiskering it over a little bit and cutting that so you got a nice crisp corner then they'll all fit together nicely so that's the next thing that I'll do is move this over just a whisker like I say I'm not using a rocket science adjustment and now we'll run our first cut of each board Okay, now I'm going to lay out all of these boards with the uh, bevel up so that they're nice and tight with each other. Okay, now you can see what it's like with all of them uh, fastened to the tape here. Hopefully the tape will stick so that I can pull it together and show you how it looks when the, when the round top takes shape. So here we go. Wish me luck. See how that goes? Isn't that nice? Now you've got the basic concept of what's going on here. I'm going to lay it back down carefully. The next step would be to glue all of these segments together. Now if you're uncomfortable with gluing the whole thing all at once, you can take half of it and glue it, pull it together and nice and snug with another piece of tape around it to hold it in place. And then glue the other half and then glue those two halves together uh, on the center and uh, it works very well that way we've covered it quite a bit and uh, so next week or sooner if I get enthused about getting this thing done why well, we'll we'll hit it again so for now this is Wayne at what's up Wayne channel please subscribe if you like what's going on that's it for now. We'll see you next week. Have a good weekend.